All right, finally inside. All the comforts of home, as they say. And it certainly looks like a safe place, but most people don't know that their homes are pretty dangerous places. For starters, let's talk about electricity. It's everywhere you look, from lamps to outlets, pretty powerful stuff, and potentially lethal. Electricity is always flowing in and out of your house, heading through wires in the walls to outlets in every room. Once it flows through lights and appliances, it goes back out again in a big loop. If you touch a frayed cord and short circuit that loop, the current can pass through your body and that can electrocute you. We want to get an idea of what an electric shock feels like and what it can do to your body. And Dave is going to show us. Of course, that is my job. And I got just a tool for it. This is what I use in my police training. It's called a uh, probe, which is basically a stun gun with antennas, if you would. Now, here's the fun part. When we take the, the probes and lock them in place, and we press on the left side of the toggle, yeah. you're going to see the electricity oh, shoot yeah. up the probe. Look at that. It's run on lithium batteries, so it generates real low ampage but high voltage. In oh. fact, 50,000 volts to be exact. Voltage measures the pressure of the current, and 50,000 volts is a lot. But the amount of current, or amperage, is small, just two thousandths of an amp. And Dave will only get a brief shock. Just to add a little bit more safety, we're going to do this arm. So if you hold it too long, yeah. I'm going to smack you with this hand. Ah, perfect. The pain seesaw. That's I'm right. In. If All you right. really drop it down, it goes to a clinch, and yeah. then I start beating you until you let go of me. Okay. This is fine. All right. One, two, three. Wow! What's that feel like? I don't know. I haven't hit you yet. <laughs> you wind up like Popeye. What's uh, uh so what? Um, it just causes your hand to close. If you would have kept it on a little bit longer, you would have. It would have really started to force close. You wouldn't have seen that, it. Was that too long? Body. No, that was. You no. did a good job. Okay. You did a good job. Can we kick this up a notch? We sure can. Okay. Fact, what we're going to do is we're going to extend these probes. Now, what would you use that for? Well, for police work, we use them to, like, sweep people off staircases, keep people back in a riot. Um, okay. They're used as non-lethal devices. Now we're going to attack the thigh and the lower part of the back. Like, here, like yeah. that. It's almost like whipping like it, that. whipping it, kind of. Yeah, don't, don't whip me and don't be starting to say, who's your daddy? I just want you to go ahead <laughs> don't, and just... Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> we're hot. <clears throat> All right, safety's on. <clears throat> How do you feel about it? Hey, take your time. Take your time. It feels like someone took a bat and hit me right in the back of the leg to give you a charley horse, because, you know, it feels like that electricity punches your muscle. <clears throat> You're okay. Yeah, I'm okay, but I'll tell you, that's not something I want to do again today. Those 50,000 volts sent powerful signals to the nerves in Dave's legs. That interfered with the electrical signals from his brain and made his muscles contract. But he just got a brief hit. Yeah. And since it was only two milliamps, it wasn't enough to cause any permanent damage. In your own home, where the current's just 120 volts, not 50,000, you can actually face a lot more danger because the amperage is higher. And there's one room in the house where that danger is multiplied. Here, the bathroom. Here you got two problems, electrical appliances and water. Now, we've all heard the old story. Some poor guy's taking a bath, then a lamp falls into the tub, sparks fly, and it's all over for the bather. But will that really happen? Would you be electrocuted? To find out, we're doing a test with an assortment of appliances. Besides the hardware, we've got some software. We're using a turkey to stand in for a human in the tub. And to see how much electricity passes through our test subject, we're hooking it up to a meter that measures the amount of current in amps. The appliance should short circuit, sending electric current into the water. Electricity will head for the metal drain, metal's a good conductor, and then to the ground below. But will it pass through the crash test turkey too? Let's let him listen to some music. All right. Dave starting out with a clock radio. When we come back, we'll find out just how much electricity hits that turkey and how dangerous it really is to drop an appliance in a bathtub. Ready? Yeah. Then Dave fights fire with salsa. And he'll go head to head against a fire hose to see what 500 gallons a minute feels like. We want to find out what really happens if somebody drops an electrical appliance in a bathtub. 
We've set up a test with a variety of appliances and a crash test turkey so we can measure how much current will pass through. All right, probe her up. <laughs> nice. I did actually punch there for a second. Look, she's talking to us. <laughs> Help me. And for our first round, Dave's chosen a radio. There aren't any sparks, and according to the meter, the turkey only got 7.1 milliamps of current. That would cause a little tingling sensation, but not a serious shock. Maybe this old story is just a myth. We'll try it with a different appliance. Our next candidate is a curling iron. Jumping right up, 65, 66. 66 milliamps is a serious shock. It could paralyze your lungs, damage tissue, even kill you. Next up, a floor lamp. Ready. And this time the turkey received 120.6 milliamps. Now that's a big shock. Bad enough to cause your heart to fibrillate, to beat uncontrollably. And that could definitely be lethal. So it's more than a myth. Even something that seems harmless, like a curling iron, can be deadly if it's combined with water. And you really can be killed if you encounter an electrical appliance in the bathtub. <laughs> 